Hi guys, welcome back once again. Xiaomi unveiled its first flagship smartphone in December last year. The device Mi 11 started the new 2021 family of flagship devices that are set to receive new variants in the near future. We're expecting a Mi 11 Lite, Mi 11 Pro, and a cutting-edge Mi 11 Ultra. Last year, the brand unveiled the Mi 10 Ultra, and it was insanely good. Now, the Mi 11 Ultra will come to top up its predecessors with a powerful camera combo and an intriguing secondary display on the back. This panel will allow you to use the camera array for selfies, vlogs, and other related purposes. The device has been a target of multiple leaks during the past few months. We even have a couple of leaked images showing the Mi 11 Ultra. However, we haven't seen any official information confirming the device's arrival until now. The device is giving its first steps ahead of a launch. It has been certified in Indonesia. Unfortunately, this certification doesn't tell us anything about the new smartphone, other than it's one step closer to launch. Interestingly, the Indonesian certification serves to say that the device will reach other markets aside from China. This is a really important confirmation one time that the Mi 10 Ultra never left Xiaomi's domestic market. The variant spotted in Indonesia has a model number that ends with G. This is often used for global Xiaomi smartphones. A leaked hands-on video from February proved that the Mi 11 Ultra has the M2100 2K 1G model number. Thanks to this leaked hands-on, we know some of the specifications coming with this premium handset. It will be the high-tier flagship in the Mi 11 family, even surpassing the Mi 11 Pro. Under the hood, we expect no less than the Snapdragon 888 SoC with up to 12 GB of RAM. The device will pack a 6.81-inch wide Quad HD plus 120Hz OLED display, IP68 water, and dust resistance, NFC, and stereo speakers. It will draw powers from a massive 5000 mAh battery with 67W wired charging and 67W wireless charging. It will also support 10W reverse wireless charging. As per the cameras, the main sensor is likely to be the biggest one ever put inside a smartphone, with 50 megapixel resolution, 12.5 megapixel output with pixel binning, paired with a 48 megapixel ultrawide, and a 48 megapixel periscope zoom lens capable of around 5x optical magnification and 120x digital zoom. That's all about Mi 11 Ultra. We will see further updates in the upcoming days. Back in December 2020, Qualcomm made its flagship chipset official yes the Snapdragon 888 processor which is one of the most powerful chipsets offered by Qualcomm. The company is also speculated to launch its premium mid-range processor in the 7 series, which is going to be the successor of the Snapdragon 765. According to the new report, it seems that Qualcomm is planning to launch the new SoC at the end of March. As per the GSM Arena report, this might be called Snapdragon 775, but there is also a possibility that the company might name it the Snapdragon 788. Some details about the upcoming alleged Snapdragon 775 chipset have been leaked, and the report claims that this has been from an internal presentation. Some reports suggest that the details are accurate but old, so we can't rely on them completely. The important details are the CPU core arrangements, and that is leaked in the report. According to the leak, the alleged Snapdragon 775 will arrive with Cryo 6XX cores, but this might mean anything. Besides the slides, mentioned on the leaked renders suggest that the chipset will be built on a 5 nanometer process similar to the Snapdragon 888. The leak also claims that it will support 3200 MHz LPDDR5 and 2400 MHz LPDDR4X RAM, along with UFS 3.1. Besides, the upcoming SoC also tipped to have support for 4K at 60fps video recording, 328 megapixel camera sensors, and capable of making use of 64 megapixel plus 24 megapixel at 30fps at the same time. On the connectivity part, the alleged Snapdragon 775 is tipped to arrive with Wi-Fi 6E with 2x2 multiple input and multiple output, Bluetooth 5.2, 
dual 5G wave, SA and NSA support. That's all on this video for further updates stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and also press the bell icon.